In 2006, which seems like forever and a day ago when you think about it, hell, half of y'all were just getting out of diapers. When the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy first released, it quickly became every sneakerhead's must-have shoe, despite it not being an OG colorway. Fast forward to 2023, and a lot of people just don't want this shoe. With that being said, in today's video, we're going to talk about stock numbers, we're going to be talking about what resale is going to look like, and we're going to be talking about what happened to the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy in 2023 and how Nike and Jordan brand really fumbled the bag when it comes to this release. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. Thank you for kicking it with me at the Crypt today. I'm your boy Homegrown Kicks, but you can call me HG. All my friends do. And if you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button, become part of the Homegrown family, and kicking it with me in the future. If you like today's video, man, go ahead and stomp, clap, slap, tap that like button. I greatly appreciate it. And if you got something you want to get off your chest or if you want the rest of the world to hear what you got to say, put it in the comments where I'll respond to each and every one of you. Unless YouTube decides to do something weird like hide the comments that they have before. And if I don't respond to you, you know exactly what happened. Now, getting into today's video, man, I like to go ahead and just get the elephant out of the room or take care of the elephant in the room, or however the saying goes. So let's go ahead and talk about these stock numbers. Now, there's going to be a of these Burgundy 5s releasing on August 29th at 10 a.m. on the Nike Sneakers app. That's a Tuesday, if you don't know, which is, by the time you see this video, will be tomorrow. But they will be releasing at 10 a.m. on Nike Sneakers app, and they will be releasing worldwide everywhere else. Now that means your Foot Locker, your JD Sports, your Finish Line, even Champs, what? yes, even Champs will have pairs. And we all know Champs is a forgotten store, but it's gonna be releasing in a full family size run. So from adults to toddlers to infants, everybody and their grandma and their auntie and their uncles will be able to get them a pair if they so want. That's gonna lead into the resale value, which there are gonna be two things that are gonna hurt the resale value for this shoe. So for all of my resellers, this is definitely going to be a long haul. This is not going to be a quick flip because if, you, if you're in it to do it, make a quick flip, you're probably not gonna be making anything worth your time. Now, these are coming in at a retail price of $225. Once these shoes drop, the resale price goes down. If you look at StockX or GOAT right now, these are going from somewhere between like two something to like around 310, 320. So that's gonna come down come release day. And then once people actually get their pairs in, so about two days after release day is when everybody starts to get their pairs in, the resale value is going to go down even further. You're not gonna make much off of these and you know, it's it's, not gonna be people knocking down your door trying to get these. And people not wanting to get these is really weird because like I said, back in 2006, in order to get the Burgundy Fives, you had to know somebody that knew somebody. And even then, you probably still weren't gonna get these. These were um, along the lines of the Lightning and Thunder Fours and other shoes in that category. You know, the category of shoes that were not part of the OG release but everybody had to have them and the resale values were like through the roof. They were like crazy numbers even for those times. A lot of people nowadays, a lot of the shoe enthusiasts or collectors, I don't even know what to call them nowadays. A lot of them aren't really worried about the OG aesthetic or what they meant to people in the past. A lot of people are more so worried about what is the value? Not just the resellers, but the collectors are actually worried about the value of them. If they don't have any value, a lot of collectors don't really have any interest in them. Because you can you see it all the time. Uh, Sneakernomics did a video <laughs> where um, a sneakerhead was thinking a shoe was rare. And then when his friend came in, it was like, oh man, don't worry about it. They changed it and these should be widely available. That sneakerhead's opinions quickly changed. It was like, oh, you know what? I didn't spend a lot of money these last few months. So I think I'm gonna dial back and take a break. And all because he found out the shoes weren't rare and weren't gonna have the same amount of value. So times have changed. Me in particular, I say wear what you like. Don't worry about the value or what somebody else thinks about it. If you like it, man, go ahead and wear it. Now we did, thanks to big homie Leonard, get to see an early look, a look at how good this shoe actually is. Um, 
The suede had the back and forth motion where if you rub your finger across it, you do see a color change. The color was really vibrant. The, the color on the laces and the color on the lace locks and everything, it just came together in a really good look. But like I say, this 225 is definitely hurting it. And even the box presentation was really nice. And I know a lot of y'all don't care about the box, but for me personally, I do care about the box. I care about everything that goes into the shoe when it comes to me spending my money. But yeah, all of it is there, but the 225 is a killer. And I know y'all saying that other shoes have come out this year for 225, but when it comes to that, they've either had a huge following or they have been a collab or they have been a slightly more limited release. And these Burgundy 5s just don't have that going for it. Now, if they were a slightly more limited release, then yeah, a lot of people would be going crazy for them. A lot of people wouldn't even blink at the 225 retail. So with that being said, definitely do not run out there and pay resale and definitely do not rush to the stores thinking you have to buy this shoe because this shoe is definitely gonna you know kind of hit that scene where it's gonna go below retail so again don't rush to go to the stores and get this 225 you don't necessarily need it even though it is a really good colorway it is a really good shoe you'll be able to get it patience will save your pockets in this case now i want them like i said and I'm gonna be one of those people where I'm not gonna panic buy. I'm just gonna wait till the shoe goes on sale. Uh, once it hits sale, maybe like 190, 200, then I'll go ahead and grab me a pair. I might be able to get them for that on GOAT right now. But at that 225, nah, I'm out. But um, I wanna give a quick shout out to my 500 subscriber winner. Hey, I want to, before I give him a shout out though, I want to say thank you to everybody that's subscribing to the channel, that's new around here, that's showing support. I'm on my way to a thousand subs, man. I'm already at the point of monetization, but I need to get my watch time up. So yeah, y'all expect some more bangers, y'all. Don't worry, don't worry. It is not going to be trash. I'm not going to just throw something out there to throw something out there. If y'all know my videos, y'all know I like to give informative information and things like that in as quick as possible time as I can. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing more videos and once I hit that 1K, I'm gonna be doing another giveaway. The last giveaway I did at 500 subs was for a pair of black toe lows. And I wanna thank and congratulate Sanjay for being the winner of that 500 sub giveaway. So yeah, just be out on the lookout. Share the videos, like the videos, comment. Everything you do pushes me forward in the algorithms and is a huge help. You never know. I'm, I, I do crazy things. So um, y'all never know what the next giveaway will be. But if you have any suggestions or ideas within reason, y'all, within reason, come on, put them down in the comments and, you know, I'll consider them. I definitely will consider them. But yes, shout out to everybody that supported. Shout out to Sanjay. And I hope you enjoy it your Jordan Black Toe Lows. Now, with all of that being said, you know, I cannot leave y'all without saying nothing is impossible. Fight for everything you believe in. Don't let anything stand in your way and dream hungry. Until next time, I will catch you all later. Thank you for the support. I love you all. Peace.